Robert Johnson was born in 1911 and died in 1938 at the age of 27. Living with his mother on the cotton field, young Robert could hardly be given formal training in music. He was a less known about artists until his recordings of 1936 and 1937 were reissued in the year of 1961 through an album called King of the Delta Blues Singers. According to one of his school friends, Robert was known to play the harmonica and Joe Harp well. His style of singing and playing the guitar is seen to have influenced many future instrumentalists. He is today considered the master of Mississippi Delta Blues style. Eric Clapton called him the most important blues singer that ever lived. Elvis Presley was born in 1935 and died in 1977 at the age of 43. The king of rock and roll, Elvis Aaron Presley, the famous singer to sway the hearts of millions, did not know the theory of music either. He had an exceptional voice, which was never formally trained. He played his guitar relying entirely upon his own sense of music. Listening to the songs of Hank Snow and Jake Hess, he developed his own style. Paying to record some songs in his voice at Sound Records initially, he attempted to hear his own voice. He also believed to have been turned down at an audition for a local vocal quartet for not having an ear for harmony. Can you believe that? Well, we have the Beatles. The Beatles from 1960 to 1970. Well, John Lennon lived uh, from 1940 till 1980. George Harrison lived from 1943 till 2001. Paul McCartney was born in 1942 and Ringo Starr was born in 1940. And both of them are still alive. Well, who does not know them? But no many know that this band of four did not know how to read and write music. Yes, I know, it sounds unreal, doesn't it? It is a fact though. The Fab Four mesmerized the world audience with their rock music. The Beatlemania of the 1960s proved their mass appeal and popularity. As told to Playboy in a 1980 interview, John Lennon said, None of us could read music. None of us can write it. But as a pure musicians, as inspired humans to make the noise, they are as good as anybody. When speaking of Paul and Ringo. Jimi Hendrix was born in 1942 and died in 1970 at the age of 28. James Marshall or Jimmy, known for his iconic compositions like Purple Haze and The Wind Christ Mary, was an American singer, guitarist, and songwriter. One of his first instruments was a one string ukulele which he had found in the garbage of an older woman's home. He followed the songs of Elvis Presley and learned music by ear. As his biography mentions, his inability to read or write music made him focus better on the music he heard. His praise in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, arguably the greatest instrumentalist in the history of rock music, qualifies him to be the most influential musician emerging to fame in a short span of just four years. Tony Williams was born in 1945 and died in 1997. Anthony Tillman Tony Williams was one of the most influential American jazz drummers. Innovator of the groundbreaking jazz fusion, he became famous in the 1960s through the band of trumpeter Miles Davis. In his autobiography, Davis talks about Tony to be the center that the group's sound revolved around. Alan Dawson, a well-known and respected percussion teacher in Boston, was Tony's teacher too when he was a kid. Still, he did not know anything about notations.
Eric Clapton was born in 1945. Eric, also known as Slow Hand, himself honestly shares about not being able to read music. In his autobiography, he mentions about his anxiety while at a guest session with Aretha Franklin. As he said, I felt so nervous because I couldn't read music, and they were all playing from music sheets on stands. Besides being a blues guitarist, he's also a songwriter and a singer. Another distinct attribute of this amazing British artist is that he is the only one to have been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame thrice. Out of that many his guitar playing influences, he admits Robert Johnson being the most significant of all. Ray Vaughan was born in 1954 and died in 1990. A popular electric guitarist in the history of blues music, he is described by all music as a rocking powerhouse of a guitarist who gave blues a burst of momentum in the 80s, with influence still felt long after his tragic death. His older brother, Jimmy, was his inspiration for taking up the guitar when he was just seven. Also, for trying instruments like drums and saxophone. He learned entirely by ear, listening to songs by nightcaps and blue artists like Albert King or Otis Rush and rock guitarists like Jimi Hendrix. Eddie Van Halen was born in 1955. Edward Ludwig, I hope I pronounced it well, or Eddie is an American musician who was born in the Netherlands. Popular as a lead guitarist, he founded Van Halen, the rock band. His father was a clarinetist and saxophonist and pianist. He learned how to play the piano along with his brother. Eddie could never read music, and he learned by watching and listening as told in an interview. After hearing his brother play the drums at a performance, he changed from playing a drum kit to a guitar. Listening to recitals of Bach and Mozart, he tried to reproduce them without any practice. Tommy Mano was born in 1955. Known as a virtuoso guitarist and songwriter, William Thomas or Tommy Emanuel learned to play the guitar from his mother since he was four years old. He had never otherwise received any other formal instruction. He has never been able to read music. Nonetheless, performing with the family band as a professional by the age of six, he would not perhaps feel the need to learn it the theoretical way. Well, here I am with Los Dex Maniacs, is a conjunto band created by Max Baca, who is the leader of the band uh, that created the band in 1997. Baca wanted to create a band that incorporated elements from genres such as rock and roll and jazz, while still honoring the roots of the conjunto tejano. The cool thing about this band is that in 2010, Los Dex Maniacs won a Grammy Award. That's fantastic! They are really nice people, very friendly, they came to Palermo for a class and uh, they are all self-taught and they have all my respect. I hope you like this video and please subscribe. Take care, bye bye!